the Steelers have a long list of players who are still on the open market. A lot of them are kind of young who played somewhat important roles in 2022. Are there names that are still out there that you look at and say the Pittsburgh Steelers could still re-sign this guy and I might see it happening at some point here in the near future? Yeah, I mean, I look at some of those guys um, further down the, I guess, list of not kind of potential value, um, like J.C. Hassenhauer, uh, Miles Boykin is another one. Yeah. These are just guys who fill who fill their roles kind of as well as I think anyone else could. And they have familiarity with the team and with systems and all that. So I don't know. Hassan Howard for some depth at center. That feels like a good, that feels like something they should do. Um, it won't be super expensive and it'll help you sleep a little bit easier at night. Um, yeah. Same with miles Boykin. He fills a role. Won't be expensive. Same thing. Like lock up some of these don't like you've made your big, your big splashes. You've, you've filled, those big positions of need. Let's let's lock down some depth before we go into the draft looking for for more stars would be my line of thinking. Yeah, I think I think Hassenauer is a good name. I was kind of surprised that he didn't come back early enough. I know that he visited the Giants last week. I don't think anything stuck. Mm-hmm. I just felt like he was a swing guy. He's been here for three seasons now and played like somewhat of an important role off the bench. He could play center. He could play guard. The offense very much so likes him. He's a great cook from what I've heard. <laughs> I, I thought that one made a lot of sense. He's still only 28 years old. I, where I could see Hassanauer coming back is if the Steelers try to draft a center and are unable to, mm-hmm. and then they just go, okay, well, let's bring JC in and have him compete. But at the same time, I also think that you could look at a guy like JC and say, well, he understands that the Steelers have a lot of competition right now. So I'm not guaranteed to make a roster spot where if he signs somewhere else, he could look at it and be like, okay, well now I'm the backup swing guard. You know, I still play a role. So I get that one. Miles Boykin is another one. Like I thought Boykin was a guaranteed return. Dude was their lead pass or run blocker as a wide receiver last year. He was their best special teamer by a mile. Oh yeah. The Steelers loved Miles Boykin. He's a smart dude. The locker room very much so enjoys him. I mean, he never complains ever. He I think he had one. I still remember his like second day of training camp. He had a bad day and the next day he had an absolutely phenomenal day. And then he told me that we will never see a bad day from him again. And I was like, oh, OK. And then he never had one. Like, yeah, he never, was, good to know. Good. Like, yeah, glad we glad we locked that up now. Yeah, yeah. He just he just continued to play very well in practice. He did nothing during the season. But again, like he was a, such a good run blocker on the outside that you just felt there was a role for him. I think he's still a name that could be very high on their list. Derek said it on Friday when we were talking about potential wide receiver signings that boy, he's surprised Boykin isn't coming back. And I feel the same way. He's still 26 years old. He can't be that expensive. I think the longer we waited out here, the more likely the Steelers are to bring him back. And I think he could actually be a pass catcher on the outside if you let him go catch a football. Yeah, I mean, he's huge. Like, he's a, yeah. he's a big dude. Yeah, I just think he, I think he fits well in Pittsburgh. Surprised he hasn't come back yet. Um, I'll toss a couple of names out here as well. To Derek Watt, I know we just talked about replacing him with Connor Hayward, but if that's not the route the Pittsburgh Steelers choose to go, I, I could see Derek coming back. I don't think he gets a deal anywhere else. Vet minimum, he's 30 years old. Come back for a year or two, then retire. You know, play good special teams. You finish your career with your brother. That You don't force JJ to go to, you know, different games every weekend he could just come to pittsburgh (laughs) everything will be fine Mm -hmm. if you know for some reason somebody goes down he could try to convince jj to come out of retire it just it's a perfect situation for the pittsburgh steelers i think they're if they're playing just like a reserved football excuse me tactics in free agency at this point Derek watt is definitely a name and then the other one people don't want to hear this one but it's marcus allen and i'm surprised marcus allen hasn't come back yet I thought he'd be like a guaranteed just come in for, you know, a two year, one million dollar year deal. Very, very simple. The Steelers love that guy in special teams. He's a hype man of the locker room. Do I think he deserved to be on the roster the last two years? Not at all. But the Steelers love him. They've loved him for a long time. Danny Smith loves him. He's loved him for a long time. I think that they're waiting on the bicep to heal. 
after he tore his bicep late in the season. But I I would be I would actually be surprised out of all those names if Marcus Allen isn't back in the Steelers at some point. It just feels like every year eventually you just get the Twitter notification that just says we've signed Marcus Allen to a two year deal. But those would be my two guys, I think. Yeah. I yeah, Derek Watt makes ter- makes perfect sense. The Marcus Allen one, I don't know. I'm not for especially I don't know. I, I just I'm not sure that you can't get something oh you could than- you you could get a million things better than Marcus Allen. A million a million players better than Marcus Allen. You have three players, and if you made Marcus Robinson just a full time special team better than Marcus Allen, but they love that guy. I, I don't get it. I don't get it. Me neither. I, I don't don't Me get neither. it at all. Nope. There's a lot of players that if you made a bad penalty or did this or did that, you would be on the verge of losing your job in Pittsburgh. Marcus Allen could do whatever he wants, and the Steelers continue to love this guy. It just doesn't it doesn't make any sense whatsoever. Um, what about the rest of them? You think there's a chance that like Miles Jack resigns? Um more names out there. Carl Joseph could make his way back. Benny Snell is still on the market, and I think that's an interesting name as well. Benny Snell, I would rather have Benny Snell playing special teams than than Mark Allen, quite honestly. Benny Snell was um, the second best special teamer in Pittsburgh last year, behind right. Miles Boykin. Right. Um, so I think Benny Snell. I I that was another name I kind of looked at. Like that's that seems like one that they should they should do too. I mean. He's a pretty solid backup running back too. We saw that in Indianapolis. Um, yeah, when, when Najee went down, he was he was really good in that game. Um, yeah, uh, I yeah, I, I like Benny Snell. Another guy who just won't be expensive. Like I would rather give a million dollars to Benny Snell, uh, or you know, a two year contract to Benny Snell than I would to Mark Allen again. But I don't think I'm just ragging on Marcus Allen now. Um, <laughs> I think your distaste for Marcus Allen. Just to just to toss out, there are, there have been a lot of running backs signed in in yeah. Benny Snell's like little department here. The mm-hmm. guys who have not been re-signed, just from the top of the list down, will go. Uh, and this is the 33rd team again. We we should get sponsored by these guys or something. The way <laughs> that we're using this tracker. Zeke is still out there. Jarek McKinnon, Kareem Hunt is still out there. That's a surprising one. Did not realize Kareem Hunt was still on the open market. Uh, Leonard Fournette is still out there. Then it's Benny Snell listed. Then after him, Daryl Williams, Daryl Henderson, David Johnson still out there. Devontae Booker, Dontrell Hillard, Dwayne Washington, Gio Bernard, J.D. McKissick. And then you get into like the the real the Justin Jackson, Kenyon Drake, Latavius Murray. Malcolm Brown, Mark Ingram, Marlon Mack, Melvin Gordon. There's a lot of names out there. I don't think a single name for a backup running back that you're looking for quality backup running back play is better than Benny Snell right now. I tell yeah. that out there. Yeah, absolutely. Like, uh, like there are a lot of guys who I think might be starters, but there are not. There are not a ton of guys that I would that I'm like, wow, this guy's obviously better or more valuable to any given NFL franchise than Benny Snell would be. Nope, I agree. Outside of Zeke, McKinnon, I think, could be very valuable, but I think he's a starter somewhere. Kareem Hunt's a starter somewhere. Leonard Fournette's washed. Outside of that, it's it's Benny. It's mm. Benny. And I think Benny, I, I'm just surprised. Like, I, I thought Benny would have a backup role somewhere. He'd be like an early signing, get another opportunity. He's 25 years old. Like, the guy's young. Let him. He's got n- almost no tread on his tires. Like, let him right. run the football. Let right. him do his thing. But I agree. I think that if he does come back, I'll kind of feel bad for him because I'd like to see him get an opportunity somewhere. Mm. Um, one last name that I'm going to toss out there that I think the Steelers will resign, but very late, is Carlin's Patel, Platel out of South Carolina. He's a corner. There's mm. a reason that they let him stick around all year on IR last year. They're just you know, they saw something in him. They liked him in training camp. I think he comes back for a second training camp. I don't know if he makes the team, but I do think that at some point we get the news that that he comes back in here. 